Shake it like a baby that won't stop crying. Oh! Give a nice little slap ski. Look how cheesy that is, you see that? Oh, my sausage! What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be making a deer sausage pasta with mozzarella cheese, or as the Italians say, mozzarella. We're gonna get it set up, and then we're gonna get cooking. This water's gonna take a little bit to boil, boys. Flame on! We got the water boiling, waiting for that to boil, then we're gonna add the pasta. But while we wait for that, we're gonna go ahead and circumcise this onion. I know you guys love hearing me say that while we're doing food. We're gonna go ahead and do a couple slices. Not too big. And let's go ahead and just, we're just gonna chop this up. This doesn't need to be pretty. We're not going for looks, we're going for taste. All right, the onion's good. All right, the water's boiled. We're gonna go ahead and add the pini pasta. We're gonna go ahead and take our trusty tongs and just give this a nice little stir ski. We don't want the pasta sticking. And that'll probably take about six to seven minutes to boil the pini pasta. Let's just let that settle. Oh, hello. Let's turn this heat down a little bit. All right, we got our pasta coming along nice and good light. Smells like Italy in here. All right, the pasta's done. I'm now going to pour it into my lap, hopefully without burning myself. And then we are gonna do the onions. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut up some butter and put that in with the pasta. We're gonna go ahead and mix that together. I actually have a better idea. This is called working smarter, not harder. That should be nice and buttery now. Gotta shake it a little harder. Shake it like a baby that won't stop crying. There you go. What's that? You're not crying? Okay, it's not crying anymore. Anyway, it's time for the onions in the sauce and the, uh, the deer sausage. We're gonna go ahead and turn the heat back on and we're gonna grab our onions, add them in. We're gonna put a little bit of butter in that mix. Put the butter in, let that do its thing. We're gonna give a nice little stir ski. We are now going to prep the venison. Phoenix, I'm gonna add you to this dish in a second. I swear to God, I'm gonna go full fucking China on you in about a fucking set, bro. I'm about to go China on you, Phoenix. That's a nice piece of meat right there, boy. Give a nice little slap ski. I like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and cut it in half. Oh, my sausage! There's gonna be a lot of sausage in here. It's starting to get real smoky in here. Let's go ahead and add what we have cut so far. What, chat? What, what? I'm not allowed to smack the meat, bro? Yeah, so it's okay for people on TikTok to smack their meat and beat their meat. But if I do it, it's gay, huh? Add that in. Now we gotta go ahead and give it a little stir -ski. I wanna show you guys me like stirring it, but it's gonna be kinda hard, so just gonna... You gotta be looking at the arm cam. Ah, it's f***ing hot! This might be way too much sausage. Might add a little bit more uh, butare. Oh look, there's Phoenix's hair on there. So add a little bit more butare. There we go. All right, it is now time to add the sauce into the mix. Sauce going in. Oh, that's saucy, baby. All right, this is what we're working with so far. Uh, the lighting's a little rough right now. All right, I've added the sauce in with the venison sausage and the onions. We're gonna let that do its thing, and it's gonna simmer up for a little bit. We're gonna give it a stir every couple minutes just to make sure it doesn't burn. Then we're gonna go ahead and add the pini pasta into the mix. All right, we are now gonna add the pasta in with the saucy pasta going in. Don't spill.
We don't have enough room for this. Okay, we're filled to the brim. Okay, I think we did a little bit too much ingredients. We're just trying to get a lot of this pasta to the bottom. All right. This should almost be done. I wanted to put some mozzarella in and let the mozzarella cook in with it, but I don't think we got enough space for that. So what we'll do is we will take this out in just a moment, pour it into the bucket, and then add the mozzarella into it. Give it a mix, let it melt in a little bit, and then add more mozzarella to the top. Let's go ahead and take this. Just be careful not to spill, because that will probably at least be a second degree burn. Jesus! All right, now we take our cheese, and we sprinkle it on top. I'm gonna probably coat the majority of this in cheese. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this lid that Daisy the dog licked, and we're gonna combine some of that delicious mouth bacteria. Give it a little shake, ski shake. And we're gonna set it aside while I do a little bit of cleanup. And you're gonna leave that alone, Phoenix. All right, I gotta do this quick because this camera's gonna die. We're gonna be switching to the phone cam in just a second, but witness me. I am the road warrior. Look how cheesy that is. You see that? Inaugural bite, bon appetit going in. And once again, I never miss. I never miss. Switching the phone cam. All right, we switched the phone cam. Now you guys can probably see this a little bit better. Oh yeah. Look at that. Five star meals on wheels. Mm. I had to switch to the front facing face cam because it was getting kind of hard to eat and hold that at the same time. That's why the footage now looks like really washed out. Anyway. Mm. There's a lot of sausage in here. Whole lot of it. And there's a lot of cheese. Oh my God. Look at all that cheese. This is my fourth favorite thing I've cooked so far. Woo! That's hot. Every bite has like five pieces of sausage in it and like one piece of the pasta. Mm. Anyway, I'm definitely not finishing that whole thing right now. So I just want to say thank you guys for tuning into another YouTube video. I hope you guys like this one. I know this wasn't a super, super fancy dish, but it was still five star. You believe me that. And uh, also, sorry, we had to switch to the phone cam. On oh, God, the camera camera, that battery was fully charged before I started recording. And it, it went from like fully charged to like dead within less than 20 minutes anyway thank you guys for watching be sure to drop a subscription on the channel also drop a like and a comment down below if you got a recipe or if there's something you want to see me cook let me know in the comment section down below until next time take care and i'll see you soon